Hi, Kenny Long here, and I want to talk to you about rain gutters. With the recent heavy rains in South Texas, many of us have come to realize that the rain gutters on our homes either don't work or simply just don't exist, destroying flower beds and just creating a mess. Let me tell you about Curtis McCluskey with Advanced Rain Control. He is your go-to guy for seamless gutters, cleanouts, and repairs. Serving San Antonio and the surrounding areas with over 25 years experience, Curtis will get you a quality rain control gutter system on your home at a quality price. Contact Curtis at 210-863-9881 for your free quote today. That's 210-863-9881. Don't get caught in the rain without a quality gutter system on your home. From Advanced Rain Control, call Curtis today at 210-863-9881 and tell him Kenny Long sent you. Points. Cash. Gear. Sports. With a Dick Scorecard, you earn points on all your purchases and get 3% back in rewards and access to exclusive deals and events. It's simple. Points lead to cash to buy gear so you can play more sports. Get your Dick Score card and start earning reward certificates today. Every season starts at Dick's. Breaking you get. You're listening to Typo Radio on the Typo Sports Network. Time for the best youth sports radio show. You're listening to The Zone. Here's your host of the show, Kenny Law. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to The Zone here on Typha Radio. Wednesday night, every Wednesday, starting at 8 p.m. Live from our Typha Radio studios in Brenham, Texas. As we get ready for the season, Facebook Live is up. People already jumping on there. Texas Giants, I saw some Predators, I saw some... uh, All kinds of people. Here we got uh, Jonathan Fernandez being funny. West Side YMCA, 4th graders, Raiders checking in. Okay. Everybody checking in. Live here on Typer Radio. Week 2. Of certification is upon us as uh, waiting on an update. I, I, I sent a message out earlier. I don't know if I, they got it or not. I need to check again. But I know certification in Beaumont um, is Saturday. But the location was to be determined still. I'm sure they've got that figured out by now. Uh, if you do, you send me a message. Let me know. And uh, we'll let everybody know where it's going to be at. But uh, the certification on Saturdays in Beaumont is in Houston. Sunday at Westbury Christian School. I understand big turnouts. Colleen Houston Austin last weekend, and questions already on the on the uh, social media. One day of certification already. People asking. All right, so who's who's going to be able to line it up this year? Who's got, who's got the best? We've gone through one weekend of certification. Of course, I got all the jokesters out there as well. When do schedules come out? Schedules will be out when the schedules come out. Now, let me explain uh, some of the things that hamper. We get a lot of criticism. I hear a lot of people complain about the schedules, and I get it. Everybody wants to know where they're playing the first week, why do we have to wait so long? Uh, And these are some of the things that I guess, you know, if if you're just a parent, a fan, uh, even some of the coaches, you just don't understand some of the things that happen. Certification is a very big deal. It's a very big process. All these teams that, and and, and, we'll put it out there, they bump their gums on social media about they're going to do this, they're going to do that. Our senior squad going to bring the heat. And then they show up to certification with four seniors. Four players on that senior squad. Now, sometimes I think Typha kind of gives a little, gives a little, 
and tries to give them a little help, a little bit of time to kind of get their rosters up. So they're trying to build the schedule. Things happen. And then finally, the week of the regular season, they just say, we just can't do it. So now they got to go and redo the entire schedule. And I know the seniors are probably the biggest ones they get that have to deal with this because uh, not every organization carries seniors. So it, it really creates a hassle. Now, and I can hear some of you naysayers now talking about, well, Typha just needs to just decide on, on a cutoff date and, and that's it. And that's it. Yeah, yeah, hold them to that date. They, they ain't got their teams by then. That's it. They're done. And these be they same, these same fools out there crying because they want more time. Same ones making those demands be the same ones next year or so crying because, oh, I just need more time. So that's some of the things that happen with the schedule. The other issue is you get organizations to come in. Uh, you know, obviously you have to carry all four squads. Flag, uh, Tykes, no longer called the midgets, by the way. They are the Tykes. So flag, Tykes, juniors, rookies, you got to carry the four. I got to get used to that Tykes name. I'm telling you, that, that's going to throw me off every time. I got so used to rattling off flag, midgets, rookie, juniors. Now, now I got to learn how to rattle it again. Flag tykes, rookies, juniors. See, I kind of stall there every time. So, you know, it, they, they show up to certification. You got to carry all four of those squads. You got to have those four age groups. And they're shy on one of the age groups. Again, you know. Typha, trying to be nice, trying to give them time. We want every every child to have an opportunity to play. We want every every organization to have the opportunity to field their squads and be competitive, whether it's Division One, Division Two. You still got to go out there and compete. Then two weeks, a week before the season, an entire organization has to drop because they can't carry their four squads. And it happens. It happens every single year. So when schedules are trying to come out, they're trying to build the schedules, and all this kind of stuff is happening. This is why it is such a hassle to get those schedules out on time. I want them just as bad as you guys. I'll tell you that right now. I, I give I, I give Typha the, the, all the, the 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 badgering and beatings I can, saying I want those schedules. I want those schedules so I can put it out. I want to be. I want to get on the show and talk about first first week matchups. So that's what goes on with the schedule. So all all I can I all I can do is ask you guys to do what I kind of have to tell myself, and that is have a little patience. Got to have a little patience here. Schedules will be out as soon as possible. They'll get them out. You'll probably have them before I do. Because that's what normally happens. Uh, all the teams get the schedules well before I do. And I don't even know. And then I'll get a schedule and it may have changed like three times. Before I get the next one. And then I'll, I'll start talking about this matchup. Oh no, that changed. Checking in in the Facebook Live, San Antonio Junior Broncos senior squad in the house. Lubbock Red Raiders out of West Texas. So that's what happens with the schedule. Now, again, I hope they have it out as soon as possible. As soon as they do, that Wednesday, we'll be talking about it. We'll be putting it out there. We'll be talking about some big matchups to start off week one. So we'll see if we can get a little more info on this weekend's 
this weekend's uh, certification. But, you know, one of the things that, you know, we're going to talk about a little bit later on. I'm going to throw it out there because I, I, I received a message. Oh, I see the renegades are in the house in the uh, Typha Radio chat box. Welcome. Thank you for joining us here on Typha Radio. Uh, as we get things geared up, and, and, you know, some people will say I, I'm stirring the pot. And, yeah, you know, I'm, I just might. Y- you're right. I just might be stirring the pot here. But I'm going to stir it. I'm going to stir it because this this person, I don't, I don't, man, female, doesn't matter. This person sent me this message, made sure to make sure it, it, it wasn't on my Typha, my Typha email, wasn't on Typha Radio Facebook. It was a direct message to me. And I, I sent a post out earlier because I really wanted to get them on some of these teams on the air. And I didn't get any response, so... I'm sure what it is. I sent it out late, so no, no, no calling anybody out on that. I sent it out late this afternoon, uh, early this evening. Uh, everybody's probably at practice, probably not checking their emails, not checking their Facebooks right now. If you're a coach, you're an AD or a president of an organization right now in Houston. So you, you probably didn't even check that out. But I found it really interesting, this message that was sent. So I put this out there for Houston Typha organizations to uh, send me an email, send me your your contact info so I can email you the number to call in tonight. Because I wanted to hear what you guys had to say. Because all I hear and all I see, and I can see where this person is coming from. Because all you see on social media, San Antonio is relatively quiet. You don't hear much out of San Antonio. Yeah, they pop on there praising their own squad. But they don't really talk much smack. Austin... Uh, is relatively quiet. Every once in a while, Jerry Barr gets a gets a burr in his saddle and he starts popping off. Colleen, uh, they're a little bit more of the. They'll start to get involved, but it's usually involving Houston. They start bantering back and forth with Houston. West Texas, we don't hear nothing out of West Texas. Dallas is fairly new. They're just trying to grow, and we're hoping they grow with us. They're getting there. They're getting the organizations. They're pretty much going to be able to sustain themselves here, I think, uh, by next season. But the RGV and Houston. The RGV and Houston. Love the talk smack. And it's not everybody. I, I know it's just a select few, um, but they're in the Houston chapter particularly. They're growing more and more and more. You're wrong, Juan. Wrong. Juan Zavala comes on the Facebook Live uh, chat box and he says uh, RGV doesn't talk. Yeah, they do. Sometimes you don't understand them, but they do. But th- this, what RGV does is they're not big social media players that yet yeah, every once in a while they'll fight back, they'll banter back here and there when something gets said about them. Uh, but they don't go out of their way to talk smack on social media. Houston's totally different. You, you, you give somebody in Houston a social media keyboard and Something's going to be said. It's in the Houston area, Randall. Cypress is in the Houston area. It's in the Houston chapter. So, yeah, they get included. So does Katie. So does Fresno. So I get this message. And it says, hey, Kenny, 